right now I am connected to uh, the ASI air. And if I go into the air at this point, I should be connected like I normally would. And if I go up here into the plus settings, uh, as you can see, I am in the air. There we go. Don't need the dew heaters on. We can turn them off. Okay. If you go down to wired, uh, excuse me, Wi-Fi settings, you do have the option to go to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi or 5G Wi-Fi. Now, upon testing this, the 5G was very sketchy. It kept having issues with dropping out. Now, the 2.4 was a little bit better, uh, albeit it still wasn't particularly fast on the download, um, but I was able to walk around the entire house with the uh, the iPad, so that was okay. Now, you do have the ability to do what's called a station mode, and if you go into the station mode, which typically that will be turned off, if you click that on, do the pull down, this should pull up uh, your networks, hopefully within your own house. So, uh, obviously this one is a saved, so if I connect to it, and you will be able to like enter your password and connect right in. As you can see, I'm now connected. If I go back out, like so, um, I will actually be on the 2.4 gigahertz. So it it will still say the Wi-Fi settings. However, in station mode, I am on 2G EXT. So if I go back to the iPad and go back into here and, uh, and actually do the pull down, which obviously takes a few seconds, and then connect to the CIA safe house 2.4 G EXT, which I'll do right now. There we go. So I am now on my home, one of my home networks. And if I go back into the air, you'll see that it is saying uh, auto reconnecting. There it goes. Well, shit. All right, let's try to go back in here to this again. Let's connect to the ASIA matrix. And, you know, here again, this is kind of the reasons why uh, it's not foolproof, okay? Uh, I've tried it a couple of times. Okay, now I'm connected again. Uh, it's not foolproof 100% of the time. This is kind of had the issues that I had going on with it originally um, that it just, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. It should be on station mode, which it is. Um, configure the SIR to make it controllable through your home Wi-Fi. So it should be generating through the Wi-Fi at this point, so it should be stronger signals. Um, what I can do, though, is I can also connect to it um, via the Wi-Fi through my own network. And the way I would do that is just, there we go, connect right into it. Should be connecting. There we go. As you can see, I am now uh, on my network. And if I go back into the ASI Air, um, and go back. Well, it's got to reconnect, as you see here. Usually it takes a minute. And I think basically what this warning is is because you disconnected from the actual, um, uh, from the ASI air itself, is I think why you're getting that up. So as you can see, I still have full control of it, and it works just fine. Now, uh, keeping that in mind, right? What happens if you do lose power or well, let's say your internet drops out, right? So if that happens, you can still go back into it. It will default back to its original Wi-Fi that it's projecting out. So you can connect to the ASI or matrix like so. Oh, password's incorrect. <laughs> That's hilarious. Again, it's not without its problems. Um, it still, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. So you see, just auto-connected back. Now it's fine. And when I go back into it, uh, if I go back into the Wi-Fi, uh, yeah, no, it's at the right place. If I do go back into the Wi-Fi, I can actually turn the station mode back off again. And now I'm strictly on the ASI Air. Power on. There you go. So you can see all that. That works just fine. Uh, now, the question also became, too, what happens if I connect to wired Ethernet? So, 
you can either connect it to the house uh, with a cord, or if y'all remember from some of my previous videos, you can connect it uh, via, uh, like on my s or other setup where I have the mini computer, which is plugged into its own uh, uh, router, which is not connected to the internet. It's just a, a router, you know, giving out a Wi-Fi signal, basically. So here's what's going to happen. There we go. So uh, the wired Ethernet, you'll see network cables inserted. And basically at this point, if I go into it, it will automatically uh, figure itself out and it will connect into uh, the network of the router that I have chosen. So um, it's obviously not doing it right now, but let's just, uh, yeah, let's just put it back again. And there we go. So you'll see there I have my router. Please don't go into my system and hack me, okay? Um, and I can still obviously control it, but again, just to show you that I'm actually on the network, I'm now gonna switch over uh, to that particular router. So I'm now wirelessly into the router. If I go back to the ASI Air, I, uh, you'll see, the, see here that it's saying auto reconnecting again. And it takes it a minute, so hang on. There we go. So uh, at this point, it's just saying because I'm disconnected from the uh, uh, the Wi-Fi network of it, and I'm now on the wired Ethernet.